Hi, today I'm gonna talk about uh, using Microsoft Excel um, in dealing with tables as uh, the table you see in this uh, video. So um, in this Excel sheet I have um, a table like any table you have here, the grades of a class and the class um, and you see this is the student name and it's uh, four groups and each group is um, like uh, each student has a number in the group and these are the grades and they're split into many categories and then you have the final and the total grade here so um, this table is big so you cannot see all the data once in only one view and um, I'm gonna show how you can use some of the options in Microsoft Excel to uh, deal with the table and uh, sort the data and find the number or whatever thing you want to do with the table like this so the first thing is um, like uh, searching for one number in the table so let's say I am one of the students and I want to see my grade for example so let's say I'm student uh, my name is C F for example so I'm in row number 57 and I want to find my total grade so or my grade in any one of the of the categories let's say my grade in report 2 so uh, I know that report 2 is column J and I am in row 57 so it's 3.8 but it will be more difficult to find my grade if I'm let's say in let in column M in this case I cannot see my my name here so one thing that Excel can help with is to uh, show the headers and uh, the student name or to uh, what's so called here freezing so you freeze one row or one column depending on what you want so let's say we wanna keep the headers the categories that we have the uh, uh, the grades in so the, the excel can do this simply if you go to the view ribbon you have here free spans so there are three options uh, so let's go to the second option which is freezing the top row so let's see what's gonna happen uh, when you freeze top row you see that there is this line between the first and second uh, rows is getting a little bit thicker in this case if you uh, want to go uh, down in the table you will keep the top row always uh, visible and uh, you go down the table so you see your uh, your header and you don't like try to go every time to the top of the column uh, of the table to see your uh, your headers so let's say I'm student number or name CE that uh, that name that we checked last time so now when I go to CE it's easy now so that's CE so it's easy now to go to whatever report 3, report 2, midterm or whatever and uh, find my grade uh, but uh, another problem would arise now that I cannot see my name so in this case we'll go to free spend and use the third option which is read the first column so it's doing the same but in this case it's um, uh, oops it freezed something different so and freeze so what's gonna happen now it's uh, gonna freeze the top the the first column so in this case if I go to the right to the end of the table I'll always see my name and I can find the grade easily but here it, it cancelled the uh, freezing the top uh, row so to keep both uh, you have to use the first column so now I'm gonna freeze and then refreeze the pens so here you'll see that you have uh, here uh, like a small uh, drawing of an excel sheet and you have uh, a, like a cell that's blue which is where you are uh, keeping your cursor in and you have the to the the row and the column uh, to the top and to the left of this cell are dashed this means that you have to first put your uh, or stand in one of the cells and then freeze the top and to the left of this uh, cell so if I do this so I'm now in the cell B2 so I want to freeze column A and row 1 so if I go and freeze pens then it will freeze both and it's easily uh, visible and you can easily tell if uh, if it's freezing uh, the cells or not because or uh, I mean the columns are rows or not because you can see the line between the freezed uh, column and the freeze row and the rest of the excel sheet 
is a little bit thicker so let's go now and do the same thing again I am student number C or name CE and I am looking for let's say report 3 so I can or report 2 whatever so now I can see the header and my, my name and the same time I can see all the grades at the same time so it's pretty um, neat uh, option in Excel and it makes life easier especially with very very big tables um, another thing you might need to do with uh, Excel is to uh, sort your data so let's say I want to sort the students by the grades or the by total grade now they are sorted by their uh, groups and they numbered uh, their number in the groups so let's say I want to sort them by the total grade so you can find this in data and you have this sort option if you press on this you will find that it's a small window that says what the criteria how do you want to sort your data or your uh, table uh, data in the table then you will go for let's say total now and uh, Excel understands what's inside the, the cells so if it's uh, just grades and numbers it will be values from smallest to greatest if it's not it will say from A to Z so if it's numbers then it will understand it's numbers so I'll go from largest to smallest but just note that this thing is uh, checked it's my data has headers this means that the Excel uh, tells you that I know that the first row is just the headers it's not data so it's not gonna be sorted along with the other data so now we are good to go and then we'll press OK and then you see it's now sorted by 25 25 25 and then 24 24 and then 23 and so on and so forth till you get to the minimum number so it's pretty easy it uh, it keeps all the, the data in the same row uh, constant it's it moves the, the, the rows together um, but of course that's why this this group sorting is now uh, not right it's it's sorted by different names by different thing because the criteria is different so um, let's say I want to go now and uh, get the sorting by the student then by, by the group and the number in the group so I'll go back and sort by the student or by the group okay and then it's values from largest to smallest I want it from the smallest to largest but in this case uh, and let's see what's gonna happen so it's gonna sort by one and then two then three but the number of uh, the student number in the class is not sorted right it starts by 16 then 40 then 10 then 23 so I want to add another level and this is an option that Excel can do uh, I'll first sort by the group and then I'll add another level so I inside inside every level I wanna uh, the data to be sorted by the number in the group from the smallest to largest and then I'll press OK and then it kept the first sorting level uh, as it is and then it sorted the number uh, or the students by number inside the initial uh, thing or the initial sort uh, so it's pretty pretty neat thing uh, another thing we need to do is to uh, maybe show some values and um, hide another so in this case uh, this filter option is pretty nice uh, option so if you press filter nothing would happen you would just find these arrows at the header of each column and simply let's check it in one of the columns in the total and then it says first it says sort from smallest to largest to largest to smallest which is pretty similar to what we did before in the sorting option but it just offers only one level of sorting it doesn't sort by multiple levels that we did and the thing here that we need to check is that it can select uh, or show some uh, of the data and uh, hide others so let's say so it's now showing all because it's uh, all are checked so let's say you only want to see the students who got 25 or 25 in the total and then I'll press OK and then as you see it's now showing only the students who got 25 and all the others are hidden uh, the, uh, the Excel didn't delete anything it kept everything as uh, it was but just it showed me the the, the data that, that I want to see and um, you have to keep in mind that this is something that can let you or tell you that there is hidden data it's uh, not 1 2 3 4 it's 1 6 12 19 and at the same time they are in blue color which is the row number uh, if you 
come here and see something else uh, that this arrow has the filter uh, logo on it which is the same logo here so this just to let you know that there is some sorting or some filtering that's taking place here and then if you uh, select all then you'll have all your data here uh, again uh, one last thing which is uh, pretty neat is that sometimes you want to change the formatting of a cell depending on its data or the or the the value in this cell so let's say again for this column I have the total and I have the students got different grades uh, so I want to show the students who got 25 in different formatting so uh, and and only the students that got 25 to be maybe in bold and the cell to be filled with blue color or whatever thing that I want to make so it's uh, pretty simple you have here something called conditional formatting which is the formatting depends on the condition so in this case there are many rules uh, here but let's go for only one example and you can go and play with the other uh, examples and see what uh, fits for you so let's say the students uh, or format the cells that are uh, or oh, only the cells that contain so the cell value let's say equal to 25 so and then I can from here I can check or um, uh, change the formatting or set the format that I want to make for this uh, student so oops so it's gonna work now just a few seconds Okay, here we go. So now it says, uh, let's say, check bold and uh, make it, um, let's say, the fill to be uh, anything. And then I'll press OK and then press OK. So now before I press OK, all the cells are have the same formatting. Then if I press OK, then you'll find that some cells are changing to the format that I ch changed. So let's say, I'll change any of these numbers to 25 then it will go back to or will change to this formatting and if I undo it will go back to the initial formatting um, you can make more than one uh, form or conditional formatting for the same cells uh, it's not, not, not a problem at all and uh, if you're like bored with this and don't want this formatting you can uh, like highlight this uh, cells and then go and clear rules from selected cells and then you are back to the initial formatting so this was uh, like a quick tutorial for using Microsoft Excel for tables um, and I hope this helps thanks